Hello and welcome to another Beauty Box unboxing. Today we're getting a little bit Christmassy. It's something from Next, which is the Season to Sparkle Makeup Cracker. So this costs £22. They say it's worth over £62. Delivery charges may apply with Next unless you live near to a shop. You can arrange to collect it from there free of charge and they normally deliver it the next day. So at the time of filming, this one is still available. However, I have terrible internet problems at the moment, so I'm not sure when I'm going to get this video out. It might be tomorrow, it might be the next day. Hopefully it will be today, but I, I don't think so. Everything's gone wrong. Anyway, as you can see, this comes as, it's a half cracker, really. They do have some of the boxes on their website at the moment. Some of them, I think, are full crackers, and they've got a bauble, they've got all sorts. If you do a search for beauty boxes on the next website, you'll get a whole list of them. I think there were over 40 when I looked yesterday. But this one twists off at the top and then you get your products inside and there are four products in here. Now, the first one, it's a bit of a lucky dip. Now, I don't like lucky dips. I like them if I get the thing that I want, um, but I didn't this time. However, I have made the most of it. So. You're going to get a Nail Zinc Speedy Gloss Nail Polish. The shade is the Lucky Dip bit of it. So you either get Call Me in Covent Garden, which looks like it's a sort of a metallic, possibly gold shade, which is the one I wanted. Piccadilly Please, which looks like it's a corally red kind of shade. Or the one I got, which is Find Me in Fulham, which is, it's white. I've got a feeling I've had this before. I've definitely had a white nail polish this year. I think they're all £8 on the brand's website, so there's no sort of discrepancy between them in terms of value. But I just don't really, didn't really want a white one. They are quick drying as well. I've had other ones in this range before and they all have been quick drying, which is good. So I'll show you what this one looks like. Now, the reason I don't like it is it just gives me vibes of going. It reminds me of when I was at school. And if you were bored in the lesson and you had a bit of Tipex on you, you'd just sort of paint your nails with Tipex, um, which is probably doing it a bit of an injustice. But that's what it reminds me of. So that's what it looks like on its own. Do you know what? It's not bad if you want white nail polish, but I just don't really want it but what i did do was i thought i'll put on top the sort of toppers that i've got from essie i've got a whole range of them i really like them and you know what they work really well with this white uh, polish underneath i think so that one i've used sort of a purpley one that one's blue that's the more sort of obvious looking one and then that's the sort of aqua one my thumb's got silver on, but my thumb looks awful because the nail broke. So that's my other thumb with the silver on. And I think that's really nice. And it looks quite wintry, doesn't it? Quite sort of icy looking. So I am going to, I, I thought I'd be giving this one away, but I've changed my mind. I'm going to use it and use sort of those as an icy wintry look. Okay, the next product in here is Delilah in Bloom radiant liquid blush in the shade peony so this is full size and it's 23 pounds on the brand's website next says this is a hydrating liquid blush that glides effortlessly onto the skin giving cheeks an instant lift and dewy flush of color weightless and water-based it'll give all skin types and tones a natural radiance now i did check the brand's website out and it does say that this best suits warmer skin tones they do have a different shade called sweet pea which is generally more suited to lighter skin tones so i ha have got a lighter i've got self tan on um but i tend to think you know i've got a lighter skin tone so i tend to go for ones that are meant for that however this is actually all right and i have got it on today so i'm going to show you on the back of my hand and you only need a tiny amount of this because it is going to blend out very well so as you can see, it's quite dark, blend it out. And then what I do then is I go to the, the, the blended bit that I like the most, usually the lighter bit, and then take it from there and then 
pop it onto my cheek there. I think it's nice. It gives a kind of a sunburnt look. So for me, that would be more the one I tend to wear in the summer. I'll probably wear it for the next month or so. I'll take it in turns with my other liquid highlighters that I've got, which is what I do anyway, sort of stand them up and then just take them in turns and it's just so they all get a fair use. Um, but I, I'm not sure whether I'll be using it through the winter because even though I'll use self tan through the winter, I do tend to look a little bit paler. Okay, the next product in here is by Iconic London and it's the Triple Threat Mascara in Black. It's a 9 mil full size version. It's £22 on the brand's website. Next says volumise, lengthen and lift your lashes with this mascara. The formula feels weightless while the look is dramatic and fluttery. The dense bristles separate and coat lashes for fullness, length and a smouldering look. So I really like this mascara. I've had it a few times before. One of my friends loves it as well. It's one of her favourites. So I am sort of torn as to whether to keep it or give it to her. I might give it to her. She doesn't mind using it when I've used it. Um, we've always shared our makeup, so it's fine. Um, this is what it looks like. It's a very shiny sort of packaging. So I don't want it to glare at you. And this is what the brush looks like. Very thin. I like thin brushes like this. And I don't know whether you can see, but the bristles are very dense. They pack together like next says. And because of that, they really grip onto your lashes. You can feel it gripping on and they get right down as, as well as far as you need them to go. I don't know what I'm talking about there. But they do a very good job is what I'm trying to say. So I have got this on today. Only one coat which I think did a good job and I'm very happy with it. I'm not sure what I'll do. I'll, I might end up keeping it because I haven't got that many mascaras on the go at the moment. Okay, the next product, the last product in here is a mini nude sticks. So this is in the shade Hey Honey. It's only a travel size, so I'm not sure the value of it. You can get a set of three minis around 29 pounds but they do come in a sort of a presentation box so at a guess i don't know eight or nine pounds maybe it's a nice product so i haven't got a description for this one to give you because the one on next i don't think was quite right what it was saying but this is basically a highlighter is what it's described as on its own packaging and this is what it looks like so i'm going to show you on my hand there it is a very glowy one, isn't it? You know, I've got it on and I, I'm not sure that it's glowing that much on my face, but it's kind of, I'll just turn around slightly because it's, it's sort of around here. I don't know, but it looks, it looks different on my hand, but I can't see my face properly in this light. So um, yeah, it's lovely. I like it a lot. That again will go, into my makeup little stand where I it revolves round, it's round, revolves round, so everything's standing up. It will go with my highlighters and I will take turns in using it. Same with the mascara. So that's the end of the cracker. Um, only four items in here, but it's only £22 and the items in here are really nice, especially if you've got the gold nail varnish. I think that would be lovely. Um, the white, you know, I've made the best of it and I think, I think I will continue to use it. I particularly like the way the, the blue one looks there. Um, the blusher, do you know what? I'm not sure it's the best shade for me for winter time, but at the moment, the weather's not too bad. So, and I am using self tan. So as long as I'm remembering to use the self tan, it probably will be okay. The mascara, did I mention the mascara yet? I don't think I did. Fabulous mascara. I have had this before. I don't know whether I said that. I did, didn't I? Um, brains all over the place again. But yes, I like it a lot. And I will, I think I will keep it. I hope my friend's not watching because she, I feel bad now. I feel guilty already. And then the nude sticks little highlighter, which, um, I do like that. I will probably use it. 
So that's that. There are other boxes on there, as I said, on Next, and I do like the look of some of them. So there may be another one. Hopefully, this is still available. But my internet problems have been really really irritating and i think you don't realize do you it started yesterday and at first it was the it was the my phone was playing up and i had a video call with my brother which he couldn't see my face it would it would work if it was voice only we were doing it over facebook it would work work if it was voice only but as soon as i put video on then i froze which probably he got great amusement out of some of the expressions i was probably giving um so that was the first thing i noticed and then when we came to watch the telly that was a problem because everything's linked up these days isn't it to the internet it's really rather annoying um even just before i went to film this i went to check on google on my laptop and it's like no internet the trouble is it's intermittent as well so it might be there for a second and then it will suddenly go couldn't save um, my the writing that I've just done. I've just quickly done the writing on this um, onto my usual drive because that's in the cloud somewhere, I think. So, yeah, loads of things are governed by the internet. It's quite scary, really, isn't it? What would we do if it just completely went down? Um, but hopefully it will get sorted soon and I will be able to put this video out. So this is an extra video I'm doing. I'll probably put it up before the main one. The main one I'm doing today is the OK um, Beauty Box. I've got all the products here as well, which was one of the things that was confusing me actually, um, which I'm going to film next. And I'll give you an update on the week in that. It's been a good week. so. I shall speak to you about that in that video. Um, and until then, I've only done 12 minutes. I feel like I should do a bit longer. I might actually tell you a bit about the week in this one, simply because there's a lot to tell this week. So one thing that I did this week was I went to see my friend pre her birthday. So her birthday is next week. And we are going out next week as well, not on her birthday, but to celebrate her birthday properly for an afternoon tea in John Lewis, she found, which I thought sounded rather civilised and nice. So we're going to do that next week. But I took her her present this week and I got her something which I wasn't sure whether she'd like, actually. Um, she has a guinea pig and she loves her guinea pig. I mean, she, you know how... I, I suppose I was a little bit like it would snow here. You get your kids grow up and then you want something to have a little cuddle with. So that's how she's with her guinea pig. And I'd seen a cuddly toy guinea pig um, in one of the garden centres. And I, I got her that. And she had a little sneak peek into her bag. There's a couple of other little things as well. And saw this guinea pig and got him out and she loved him. And she said, you know, no one ever buys her cuddly toys anymore. I suppose it is a bit silly, but I like her. I like a cuddly toy. I don't really notice, but I do like a cuddly toy. I end up buying them for myself these days, though. So that she was happy with that. And then on Friday, I went and saw my auntie. I haven't seen her for absolutely ages, and my cousin. And it was her birthday this week as well. So I gave her a present. Um, didn't give her a cuddly guinea pig. But one of the things I gave her was a little felt mouse to hang on a Christmas tree because she's I, the main reason is actually when I was younger, I remember getting a birthday present off her and it was a little embroidered purse. And in it was a tiny little felt mouse with a little corduroy skirt on i remember that and i loved that mouse that mouse was one of my sort of prized possessions for absolute years and i've no idea what has happened to it i was thinking about it and i can't remember what happened to it obviously i was a i was at primary school when i had it so it was a long time ago um but i feel really sad 
that I must have lost that mouse somewhere along the way. But anyway, I think she liked her presence too. And it was lovely to see her. She's 94 now. Wow. Um, she's doing really well. And it was just nice to see her and have a chat, see my cousin as well. And then we had a little look at the Christmas decorations. We met in another gar I'm, I'm garden centre mad at the moment. We met in another garden centre, looked at the Christmas decorations there. Um, yeah, it was a lovely day. So, and then yesterday I spoke to my brother. So today it was, felt like a very family and friends. I mean, my friends, I always think of as family anyway, but very family sort of week that I've had. And speaking to my brother yesterday was lovely. And he was saying about my, my nephew, who was the one who's been poorly, I've mentioned before, and we got all that positive energy from you. And I told him about that. Um, and I think he wants to pass on his thanks because my nephew is doing a lot better. He did end up having to have like an exploratory um, surgery. So it was not quite as straightforward as we originally thought. But he's on uh, recovering from that now and everything is going to be all right. So that positive energy worked really well. And I thank you for that. And he also mentioned that at least one of his other sons, he's got six kids, my brother. So I've got a big family um, from him, which is lovely. It's it's lovely when they come round here. Sometimes at Christmas, I had most of them here last Christmas and it was fabulous. And um, of course, there a lot of them, I think they're mostly in their thirties. I think there's only, well, no, I say that there's two younger ones and then there's four older ones. Um, and the youngest of the older ones i don't think he's quite 30 yet he'll tell me off if i got it wrong because he might be watching so hello if you are and they have wonderful girlfriends as well who might watch as well that's what my brother said so that was made me very excited that they might watch so if you are there hello and i love you I love my family. I love my family. I love my friends. I love you. I love everybody. You know, well, not everybody, but most people I love. There are some I really don't, but the majority of people, I think love is the best thing to give out. You know, if you give out love, you get it back. I believe that. But I am going to send you loads and loads of positive energy. I can waffle on all day about love. Um, loads and loads and loads of positive, positive energy. And I hope you have a wonderful, beautiful, fabulous week. I've no idea what day I'm going to be talking to you on. It depends when my internet gets fixed. Luckily, though, it's not a problem in the household. We thought it was at first, and I hate that. We booked an engineer to come out on Tuesday, but then we got a message saying it's more widespread incident. So they cancelled that, which I think is good because you know when, when it's affecting more households, they're probably going to do more to get it sorted so they don't get too many complaints. Anyway, sending you loads and loads of positive energy. I want to feel it coming through. I think, yes, I can feel it coming through now and I'm going to whack it your way. Please take it from me. Use it for love and good things and kind things. And I'll see you here very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.